Next news is out of Orlando, Florida, and I just want to say that I have a lot to say about this, okay. uh, more that's written here, so I'll get to that afterwards. Uh, out of Orlando, Florida, Make America Straight Again Conference to Revictimize Pulse Nightclub Tragedy. Several congregations from the new Independent Fundamentalist Baptist Church, also known as the NIFB, will host their Make America Straight Again conference at the location and on the anniversary of the Pulse nightclub shooting. The NIFB are vocal proponent, uh, yeah, proponents not uh, for not only bigotry against the marginalization of the LGBTQ plus community, but also for the government enacted capital punishment of its members. In a show of solidarity, countless supporters of the anti-NIFB effort have been incorporating pumpkin-themed emojis and graphics into social media handles um, and activity after the NIFB pastor Tommy McMurtry attempted to slur pansexual YouTube creator Mr. Atheist with the moniker Mr. Pumpkin, the world's biggest fruit. So, uh, okay, I want to... Can I wanna you explain a little bit? This is a bit confusing. Absolutely. I am I am going to explain this all to you guys. Uh, the NIFB is a church which uh, could also be classified as a cult. Um, they're, they're actually a large group of people. They have several congregations um, and they they their sole purpose, what they really gets them all pumped up is the hatred of the LGBT community. OK, these are people who advocate an arm. And this is the one that I was saying, I'm going to have to say some bad things and I don't know how to get around it. I'll try. Um, these, these are the people who who add, I mean, actively on YouTube everywhere they can tell people why the LGBT community members need um, to be put to death by our government. Um, so what they've done was they've decided they're going to take this message and actually put it out into the public. And uh, so they, they decided to do a Make America Straight Again conference, which, by the way, is happening this weekend, it's I have an update about their first day of being in Florida, uh, where they went to the Pulse nightclub area to do sermons, if you will, explaining to uh, everybody and their congregation why um, LGBT people need to die. So uh, on their first day, it was updated that uh, they said horrifying things. Um, let me see if I can get that pulled up here. Give me one second. While, while I'm pulling this up, uh, I, I want to let you guys know that many members of the YouTube atheist community um, got together and instead of just talking about it, instead of just uh, arguing or, or speaking out against it, which is so easy for anyone to do, they actually created an anti-NIFB effort. Uh, and these people include a Godless Engineer, obviously Mr. Atheist, Casey Gleason, Shannon Q, uh, Holy Kool-Aid, GM Skeptic, um, a, a lot of people, and I'm sorry if I left you out. Yes? No, no, I was I was sharing some of these names because I love them. Oh yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. So these these are amazing people. I, I mean, think all of I them, I guess. All of oh, them. Ab absolutely, all of them. Um, they they wanted to do more. They wanted to do more than just say this is ridiculous. Of course, this is ridiculous. Of course, the message that these people are saying is terrible. They have gone out and made a website. Um, the anti NIFB these these YouTubers I'm talking about have made a website. They have written press releases. They have um. They have gone out of their way to actually actively do something, get these people removed from YouTube, not because they disagree with what they have to say, but because these people are actively promoting the death of a, of a group of people. And so um, there, there are videos that still exist on YouTube to this day where they were talking about this conference going on this weekend where a man said that he prays, he prays the LGBT community uh does something to promote violence or to show them violence in any way so that they can use Florida's stand your ground law and and kill them because um, gay people are an easy target and an easy win. So they were hoping that something violent would come from people protesting them this weekend so that they could kill uh, members of, of my community. They said things during their conference. This is the, the kickoff of their conference yesterday, okay? Um, 
Pastor Aaron Thompson got up there uh, and said things like, I'd love to be able to work for a transgender suicide hotline for like a week and just let them know that, hey, it's okay to go ahead and just kill yourself because these people are sick. Um, there, there's a lot of things that I can't, I can't even reread in here, but Hemet Meta did a great job covering the first day of their conference. Um, Wait, and read, I really, them, read them, read them. They're insane. They're not insane like, I don't know what I'm doing. They're insane like a psychopath insane. They'll kill you and it won't bother them. They'll molest your kids and it won't bother them. They'll go to bed with men, with women, with animals. They'll do whatever and it won't bother them. Why? Because their conscience is seared, which is actually a, a bit from the Bible saying that, yeah, it's okay. So, so be, uh, be very they, careful if you are part of the LGBT community and please don't like if you want to go protest their church or their cult or their or their gatherings or their seminars if you go around them please you know because it seems like they're trying to find legal loophole or loopholes where they can actually shoot people and get legally away with it please 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 do not even if they're very even if they're the most say the most hateful things do not do anything that could be seen as you attacking them because that's what they want that's what they want, okay? They're looking for ways where they could a act like they s that they were defending themselves. So don't don't go there and be like, well, these were hateful people, so I threw something at them, or I, they just they were taunting me, or they were saying such mean things that I just had to push them or something. Like that. Don't do that. These people are dangerous, and they they are basically trying to troll you in a way that you get aggressive. Um, so that they could shoot you or do something like that. Don't give them an excuse. Do not get physical. Go up, you know, if you want to go protest them, that's amazing. You're extremely brave. If you want to go, um, you know, you know, drown them out or do whatever you're doing, just do not get physical. Even if it's just a simple poke in the chest, do not do that. Do not do that. And, right, go on. And absolutely, that, that's literally first day. That's why they're getting up there and saying these things. I'm just mm -hmm. going to read two more quotes so that you can see how these, this church, okay, these Christians are here. Um, and, and I say that, I say that laughingly because I'm sorry, but I've known way too many Christians that completely disagree with this train of thought. But uh, he, he's getting up there literally to taunt us, literally to make us say, okay, that's it. I've had enough. Uh, throw something or do something that they can do find. Not throw anything, uh, yeah. Right. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's what they want from us. This is what they're trying to make us do so that they can kill us. It's what they want. He's telling his congregation, they'll attack you. They'll hurt you. These people are extremely dangerous. These people are predators. They're rapists. They're given over to a reprobate conscience seared mind. They'll hurt you and they will hurt your children. Um, he, uh, in regards to the, the pulse shooting, he says, I'm still happy about it. That's like asking me if 50 pedophiles died. And if you're asking me, are you sad that 50 pedophiles died? The answer is no. Society is better for it. It's good. It's right. It's great. I think it helps society. I think Orlando, Florida is still safer tonight. These kinds of things that these people are getting up there and saying on the anniversary of the, of the pulse slaughter, if anyone doesn't remember what happened, 49, um, 47 or 49 people were murdered in a, in a gay nightclub. Um, it, it was horrifying. Armin and I actually reported on it when it happened. Uh, it was it was just such a heartbreaking moment. And here they are. They're picking this location. They're picking this weekend. They're picking wow. all of these things to taunt us. They're That's picking the they location where the gay people were killed. Right. Wow. These people are... Unbelievable. Uh, by the way, Jack said something. He mentioned a group in his chat. Make sure you, you don't mention that group by name because YouTube is very sensitive to that group. Just say PB if you read that group's name, okay? Um, let me just see. But another thing, guys, uh, some people might ask, like, what, if these people are asking for violence, why haven't they been arrested yet, right? Well, the thing is that legally you can get away with that if you're not specifically telling people to kill somebody specific you know what i mean like if right. you you would get if you say i think if you say i think a people or b people should die you're not uh that's not against the law if you say i think person a should die 
it would be a good thing if person A should die. Again, uh, you haven't broken the law. But if you say, let's go kill A, or go kill person A, now you have broken the law. Okay? So this is how these people get to say all these, these things and not get arrested. If it, right, Ali? Is that accurate? That, that's absolutely accurate. You okay. have to, in order for it to be domestic terrorism, which mm. is what a lot of people are, are trying to call this, mm. um, the, the only reason why it's not classified as domestic terrorism is they are not specifically uh, getting an LGBTQA plus person and saying, um, you, you're the one, we're going to get you and this is, you know, we're, mm. we're going to kill you in Florida. They're, they're not yeah. doing that. Right. So that's how they're able to get away with it. It seems like they really know the laws and ma are making sure not to cross it, right? right. Um, they're being very strategic because this, this is getting them a lot of attention. But I don't know. Do you think that all... Do you think this? Here's an, here's another thing. What what are they going to be able to accomplish? The only thing um, I don't know whether they're going to be able to accomplish. They're going to get more donations. Actually, they are getting all, they're getting they're getting all the attention that they want. So I don't know I don't know if this is going to be working. But on the other hand, they're no. I don't know what's the best strategic move against this. Because I don't think ignoring it is a good move, although no. we don't want them getting the right attention, right? So it, it's ignoring uh, it is not a is not they ignoring it is not the right move, but right. but I don't know what the right move is because they are they are loving all of this attack. I think like that, that's what they want. I don't really know what the right move is. Um, Megan is saying this is the biggest participation trophy for people who constantly complain about participation trophies. If you need to celebrate your straightness this this badly, you have huge insecurity issues. You need to address with a professional. I think, and Megan, this is beyond just... I think, by the way, just to be clear to people, this is separate from the straight pride parade. I think a lot of people are confused. This is something on a whole other level, okay? The straight pride parade people... You can criticize them and all that. It, you know, that's a minor thing compared to this. This is make, the Make America Straight Again movement. I think it's happening at the same time, close to the straight pride parade stuff. So people are confused. This is the insanity of this Make America Straight Again movement is on, on something else. You know, the straight pride parade is nothing compared to this. Okay. The straight pride parade is just like a troll movement that is working. Right. Uh, this is these people are asking for gay people to be shot okay this is the the level of hatred from this like forget the straight pride parade that's nothing okay this is this is what you should be focusing on right now this is the right. this is the main anti lgbt thing that is happening right now in the united states um let me see we, ali you were going to say something uh, I was, and then I don't okay. remember what okay. I was saying. So. saying American Atheist, CFI, and FFRF, are, among others, are fighting uh, Project Blitz. Please look into it. Thank you, D. Jackie is saying, I want to give the same warning to those protesting straight pride. Ironically, I believe they want to do what the PB were caught doing, looking to justify self-defense. Yes, exactly, Jack. Thank you for that warning. Um, I don't know if the self pride people want that i think the self pride people are just the the no. straight pride no i and you know to be honest i don't think the straight pride people want to cause physical harm to anyone i yeah. think that what they're trying to do is show how stupid it is to be prideful in your sexuality but uh armin and i were having a conversation about that and i think that with with a straight pride parade with how different it is from this Make America Straight Again conference, mm. uh, the Straight Pride Parade should be something that I think anyone, all all of us gays, we should just rally to it. And we should show our support for everyone who's being straight there. We should uh, we should hold up signs. We should shake their hands and tell them we think they're brave. We should uh, ignorantly ask them which one is the man in the relationship. We should uh, give them advice on on which countries they'll be able to adopt a child from, uh, because having a child will make them a more legitimate family. Uh, we, you know, we, we should say all <laughs> the things to them that we all hear constantly. That's what we should do. And not, not to be mean, 
right? We'll, we'll stand there in support of them and, and be proud of them for making their choice. But it will show them how absolutely stupid it was to try to have a straight pride parade when they're going to look at you and say, what do you mean I can't adopt a child from any country? What? Oh, that's right, because we can't, right? What do you mean you're proud of me for being straight? This is how I was born. Oh, really? <laughs> well, I mean, just show them. Well, I, 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 but I think what the, what the people were, that wanted to do at the straight pride parade, I think it's working they, because what they were, what they, what they wanted to do, like you wanted to say, like people are like, well, straight people are not uh, oppressed, which they not, which they are not, right? But I think the straight pride parade people wanted to be like, well, look, the gay gay pride parade is there, and they're not letting us have a straight pride parade, so there is a double standard. So I think yeah. it's a, they wanted to do it like a self fulfilling pro uh, prophecy. But I think the reaction to the straight pride parade should be for it to get dominated by gay people, right? Because gay pride parades now have been dominated by straight people. So like, you go to gay pride parades, and it's like ninety percent straight people. Right, so I think they should. Gay people should be like you have, you have, uh, you have uh, conquered a uh, uh, gay pride. So now we're gonna go and take over your straight pride. So when you go to a straight pride parade, like it, w it w should be like ninety percent gay people. I think that would be the best reaction. Uh, Mark is saying, yeah. be be sure to record each other on your phones as well. Uh, make it known they are being recorded. That's a good advice, Mark. But the only problem, I mean, do that in the regardless, but. I think that because they're looking for legal ways to shoot gay people, it's so weird saying that. Um, but so they they might not be, they might want the cameras. They might want the cameras because they they're hoping for somebody to give them an excuse to shoot. And if the camera is there while the excuse is there, they're like, look, the, great because I want the cameras to show that I had a legal excuse to shoot. Do you know what I mean? So they might mm -hmm. actually, they might, um, unfortunately, they might appreciate the cameras. Um, let me see what else. Wow, we're getting a lot of comments. Um, GV saying, imagine if the other Christians put, uh, protested them. Uh, they might actually. Jack is saying, P PayPal actually banned them, so they did lose a lot, of, a lot, but they are getting... Uh, they're setting up alternatives. Yeah, unfortunately, getting that might actually get them more donations. If you take out someone's PayPal, they use that as a rallying cry for other people to donate to them more. So if right. people that weren't donating to them on PayPal before, now they might decide to donate to them on other ways, given that their donation message is being taken down. Again, deplatforming and stuff like usually backfires. I, I usually I think there needs to be a better. I don't know what the right response to this is, honestly, because it feels like everything they're doing is working. But I, 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 I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what the best response is. Godless Eden is saying we need to report their PayPal accounts. Well, it, it was taken down already. Taken, take away their ability to be financed. That Godless Eden that usually doesn't work. Usually, uh, when you take one, you know, when these. You know, they will. There will always be alternatives, and usually they will come back stronger if you do that. Again, it's the best way is to just fight the nonsense. You know, you should. I think counter protests and just drowning them out with you know with people coming out and showing them that there's so much support for gay people around their, you know, around their conventions. I think that's the only way you could tackle this, just to show them. I think. As a reaction to this, more and more people should come out to support gay rights uh, and LGBT rights. You know, more people, including Christians, should come and show their side. And so, th for them, to, instead of in, the reaction, shouldn't be something where it backfires on us. The reaction should be something that backfires on them. So, if you take out their PayPal and now they're coming out with ten other ways to raise funds, deplatforming, silencing, these things don't work. The, a reaction to nonsense should be uh, you becoming louder in making sense. That's usually the best response. You should get out in numbers and just show how much. Uh, but the, the, that's if you do that, if that's your response, just be very careful because this is this is actually you know physic. You know this is a risk to your per personal safety. So it's really hard to encourage people getting out. While when you're up against people that are looking for excuses to shoot you, so this is a, a really so again, I'm every advice that I'm giving you, like go talk to 10 other people because I might be completely wrong, I don't know. Um, 
Let me see. So I'm saying Ali wants to all of us to be uh, sarcastic as fuck. Hell yeah. Oh, we got a $2. Um, Chris is giving us another. Wow, Chris is very, very generous today. Thank you, Chris. Chris, thank you. $2 super chat is saying ask them when they decided to be straight. There you go. Yeah. Another one. Jack is saying another alternative, a better event, and just ignore straight pride. And then, but by the way, guys, I just want to make sure we're not using straight pride and this event interchangeably. I have straight pride is like ridiculous because straight people are not being oppressed, but it's way less of an issue compared to this make America straight again. Okay, so there, I think more people should focus on this make America straight again. Uh, movement rather than straight pride. Straight pride, let them, let them have their pride, okay? Forget, like, they want the attention. So, you know, if, if you're against that, just ignore it. That doesn't, that's not that important. This is a group of people openly asking uh, asking uh, for excuses to shoot uh, LGBT members, LGBTQ members. So, this is the main thing that we need to be fighting against. Uh, but let me just read uh, Jack's comment. Uh, Jack saying, another alternative, a better event, and just ignore straight pride. And then the media would have one awesome event nearby and one boring bunch of straight people walking. Um, let me see what people. Okay, Yuval is saying, why can't people just go to the straight pride parade and support it? Just showing a good example of how people should react to a gay parade. Yeah, I think that was what we're. Um, gay people should. I think just like straight people go to gay prides. Um, straight go and support. Gay people should go and cheer on straight pride. Like if they're if they're. If I, yeah, I agree with you, but I think that would be the best response because if their goal was to humiliate gay people by go as gay people going in and supporting straight pride, it, it backfires. And if their intention was not that, then well, here we're getting support anyways, right? So I think the best reaction if would be to just have a whole bunch of gay people to go to the straight pride parade and just stop, cheer on the straight people. Um, I think might confuse a whole bunch of them but also it might impress the rest of them and it might bring unity and you know people might get along that way i don't know it might be ridiculous but go support it anyways if they were if they were if their plan was to troll then this you know their trolling will fail if you go and support it um let me see what the top comment i think i already read the top comments right mm -hmm. uh Haley is saying america what is going on with you guys Still, still, uh, Haley, uh, it might be hard to believe, but still one of the best countries in the world. It still is. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.